Hello everyone, I'm Jason Parker for CNET, and today we're going to look at macOS 10 Mavericks. With new features, new apps, and other improvements, there's plenty to show off. To start off, the new Finder tabs work much in the same way the tabs do in Safari. A plus sign button on the right lets you open a new tab, and you can drag and drop tabs just like in a web browser. You could have one tab for AirDrop and another for Documents, then drag and drop files to AirDrop to send to a coworker. Finder windows can be expanded to full screen mode as well. To make it easier to organize and find documents, there's also a new tagging system in Mavericks. Now, you can add multiple tags to documents so you can search on one or more tags to get the exact files you want. When saving a file, you can pick a color, pick from some standard tags like work or home, or assign your own tag. Now, to get all the documents that share a tag, you can select it in the left navigation of the finder or search for it via Spotlight. Next, the Calendar app got a facelift and a bit more functionality. The skeuomorphic leather-bound look is gone, replaced by clean lines and interface elements to draw your attention to what's important. A streamlined event inspector will auto-complete location addresses, give you driving time to your destination, and present you with a map. Click it to see the destination in the Maps app. And yes, if you hadn't heard, Apple Maps is now on your Mac. And even though it's been somewhat maligned, it has improved quite a lot over time, and I think it's a useful addition to Mavericks. Apple Maps is integrated with your calendar, like I showed a second ago, but you can also get quick directions from contacts, and you can quickly view an address in the Mail app. When exploring the app on your Mac, it's a great experience, letting you switch views like you do in iOS, and using 3D flyover on the trackpad is both smooth and looks great. Another cool feature in Maps is the ability to send directions to another device. Simply search for the place you want to go on your Mac, then go to the Share button to send the directions to your iOS device. It's important to note you'll need to be signed into your iCloud account via the Mac Preferences in order for this cool feature to work. Now let's check out Safari. A personal favorite new feature of mine is the new sidebar, where you can click bookmarks on the left and quickly sift through websites on the right. You also have easy access to your reading list. Top Sites gets a new, flatter look in Mavericks, and it's easier to customize. Just drag and drop tiles where you want them, or you can pull out a bookmark and place it on Top Sites for easy access. That's all we have time for today, but there's a lot more to Mavericks than what we've shown here. You can get more info about the new iCloud keychain, better multiple display support for full screen apps, notifications with updates from your favorite sites, and more in my written review for CNET. Mavericks is available right now at the Mac App Store and is free to all users. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Jason Parker for CNET, and this has been a first look at macOS 10 Mavericks. See you next time.